All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how exactly we're gonna build this movie search app. And it is going to be a little bit more conceptual as opposed to programming related because my philosophy is always, you wanna like make sure that you know what you're getting into. You wanna have a design going for you because if you start coding without a design, it's like you're coding without a plan. So a lot of times too, you know, even though I might know a lot of like programming stuff and then I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go make a website. I'm going to go make a, you know, new, um, I don't know, app or something like that. And if I just start coding, even if I was going to like do like, I don't know, leet code, that's really popular with a lot of people in our group. If I was going to go and like, you know, do like a leet code problem, I would suck if I just started programming, right? If I just started programming and then trying to figure it out because it just doesn't work well. What happens is you get stuck at long, a certain point. Initially, you'll like say, oh yeah, this is what I need to do, or this is what I need to do, or this is what I need to do. And then like you'll be spending 30 minutes up to an hour like doing that, and then you'll be like, oh man, this is all wrong. Like this isn't how I wanted it to be, and why did I just waste my time? So my advice to you is write the stuff you wanna do down or draw a diagram like we've got here so that way, like, you know, oh, okay, this is what I'm going to, you know, end up with. And the next 30 minutes to an hour is like what, you know, this is, <laughs> this is what I want to see as my output. Um, if you don't do it, then essentially, like, you're just kind of wasting your time, right? And the same thing, if you were to attempt, like, a leak code problem, write out the steps that you wanted to do so that you can get to your answer. Even if it's wrong, you know, at least it's wrong in plain English as opposed to, you know, writing it out in code and then just being like, oh my God, this, this was a mess. This is a nightmare. Okay. So that's my little rant on that. And I'll probably make a video about it, you know, at some point if you want some inner advice, but coming back to this, right. It's really easy to just basically wireframe like a diagram. You can use um, Google drive. In fact, I'll bring that up here. I'm going to actually pull up uh, my Google drive. So I'm gonna bring that over here and I think this is what it looks like. And so what you can do is basically create like a new Google Slides here. And then, you know, like you can just use, I mean like I'm not the world's best artist by no means, right? Like I, I design, you know, now just out of necessity, but like, again, like I don't really have any good design skills. So what I do is I usually just go to like Google Slides and then like, you know, I come over here and I say, all right, well, you know, I need um, a shape. So I'm going to look for a rectangle and I'll draw a rectangle right like this. And then it'll be in gray box. I can play around with this if I want. I can make this like, you know, transparent and then just put like a border around it. So let's put like a border of red. And so there, like that's my web page, <laughs> right? And then I'd say, all right, well, I need to search for movies. So I'll come over here and I'll take a text box and then I'll do search for movies. Okay, and then I'll make this a little bit centered so it looks a little nicer. Then I will say, all right, I need an input. And so that is going to be where I'm gonna put like, you know, my um, search box, cause that's what I wanna like wire up here. So I'll put like a little search box, search for movies. And then I'll just like, you know, it's got a, black, a red border, so let's make it black. And then I want to have, um, you know, a table to present, you know, the images, the title and the year, because that's what I'm looking to output, you know, for my for my web page, my web app. So this is how I'll do it. So I'll say, all right, um, I need another rectangle and I am just going to make a basic table here. And I think Google, I mean, if you want to, you know, play around with this, by all means, you probably know like what you're doing better than me. Um, but you can just make like, you know, a table, especially if you're pretty savvy with these. Um, I think you can make like a simple table in Google Forms. I know I could. Um, I am just, again, you know, doing this as I teach you. So my capacity to do stuff at the same time at teaching you is probably off. But that said, you know, like, <laughs> you know, you get the idea. So here I have one more um, shape and I'm just going to make that like the center column and then okay i've got you know a table all right not the prettiest one but it works okay and then i can always come back and make tweaks so what i want to do here is i want to just put in like some basic stuff here and say all right this is the poster column 
So all the images are going to go here. And then this is going to be the, um, the title of the movie. And then one more, I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna say the year of the movie. So there it is, there's my app, right? This is what I'm achieving, looking to achieve, right? Um, this is what it should finally look like. And basically at this point, you know, I've got like a prettier one right here that I put together. I spent a little bit more time with it, but essentially um, after I made the diagram, I had to think in my mind, okay, I'm making a React app and the whole idea here with React is components. So we wanna break the app that we just made, the diagram into components that translate well over to our code, right? So just like you might have a function header, right? Which we did in the intro to React tutorial that would return a header just like this. This is a header. You also need some other stuff too, like you need a search form. So we would probably wanna create a search form. So I would say function search form. And then I would wanna return something that looks like a search form. So in HTML, you know that you can create form elements. The most common one is the input type text like this. And then you can give it a value. We'll just say by default, nothing. And then a placeholder um, so that somebody knows, okay, this is what I need to like pay attention to. So we're gonna say search for movies. And we're just going to return like this. And then I'm gonna update my app so it has both the header that we just created and then also the search form. All right, and oops, don't wanna double do that. So the next thing I wanna do is make sure that my local dev server is running, and it is. And then I wanna go over to localhost um, 3000, and there is my search for movies app. Okay, so it's ugly, right? It doesn't look like our diagram, and that's just only because like we haven't done any CSS work, but at least we know that, okay, I have the input that I'm gonna create right here and then, you know, obviously I need to go back to this diagram and find what else do I need to make. I need to make the table now. So let's do that. And by the way, since the header of this thing is called search for movies, let's go ahead and update that. So over here I can say search for movies. And most people do an H1 tag as the most important element for a web page. You know, like when you're creating a web page, you want to have an H1 tag. Um, just to give importance to a specific region. So when we come over here, now it says search for movies, and then here is the input, and then I guess I can get rid of this part that just says movie search right here. So let's take that out and save. All right, so looking a little bit more like the diagram, one more thing we need is a table. So I'm gonna just do it basically, and then we'll edit as we go. Um, and I'll tell you why in the next video, but here we want to just have movie listings. Okay, so for here, I just want to create a table and put in a table header, right? And this can just be th for poster. So this will be the column name, th for title and then th for the year, okay? So good to go there. Then we need a body for the table. So put that in as well in here. We'll say tr, so table row. And then we're gonna need, um, and I actually need to do that over here too, just so that this is consistent. We need a row for before we create any columns. That's how HTML tables work. And then, let's see here, so we're good on that aspect. And I'm just gonna push these in because I like having my code a little pretty. All right, so I got a table row and then here I can just put um, image just so I know, okay, that's what it needs to be. Then also title and same thing, table column 
for a year. All right, so save that. And let's, uh, oh, well, we didn't pull it in. We got to pull in the component. So let's do that. So I'm going to add in the component here and I'm going to call it movie. Well, it is already called movie listing. So I'm going to just bring it in. So save. And there it is. There's my table. Now, if I want to clean this up, you know, before we finish this video, what I can do is I can give this a class name for my app and I can just call it um, movie search. So let's do that. Movie search. Then I'll go over to movie app CSS and I'm just going to get rid of all this because I don't care about it. And I'm just going to start clean. And basically here, I'm just going to say, all right, um, you know, for simplicity, we can always fix this up. Let's just center everything. So everything gets centered except for the table. And we can fix that by making the table also a element that is of type display inline block. And again, if that's not what we want to do later, then we can basically like fix this up. You have the creative um, freedom to do whatever you like in the CSS style. So we're just going to say inline block. And then boom, there it is. Um, oops, it comes up down here. So what we might want to do here, I might actually change this to be um, margin left auto and margin right auto and then a width um, of probably, let's say 980 pixels. And so what that does, instead of making it an inline block, I've decided, okay, I'm gonna keep it as a block element, but instead I'm gonna trap the table up to a certain width over here. And then from the left and the, or from the right and from the left, I'm gonna push it in. So that gives it kind of like a center feeling. And then just to um, you know make it a little bit nicer, I'm gonna pull some margin from the top and I'll just make it maybe like two rem. Um, and so rem is just basically a unit for um, EM, a root element, and whatever the root font size is, maybe that's 16, we wanna make it twice, so that's twice the margin. All right, so at this point, I've got a table, I've got my search for movies, I've got the input field, and I've got the um, entire app kind of wired up together, and they're all in different components. So I can, mess around with the movie listings here. I can mess around with the search form here. And if I break one of these, it doesn't really affect the rest of the app because I can take it out from here. You know, if I want to like get rid of the header and just put in an H1, I can, I can do that right here. And we're still good to go on this side. You know, um, I don't have to worry about whatever I put here, but as a best practice, you want to use components as opposed to hard coding HTML within inside of your app. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial. We've got the conceptualization part down. Now we're ready to dive deeper into the code aspect itself. So again, in summary, always make sure that you spend a lot of time thinking it out in diagrams or plain English first before you attempt to create the app. It'll go a lot faster, I promise, as opposed to just coding from the get-go, because if you do that, you're probably gonna spend a lot more time with it and maybe waste time. So always good to build a little diagram, finish the diagram first, make it cleaner, make it cleaner, make it cleaner, make it better, and then go to programming. All right, see you in the next video.